gyroscope. It's called a gyro flux gate compass. This is the transmitter end. There's a gyroscope inside here that transmits uh, the position of the gyro back to an indicator on the aircraft. There's a connector here on the outside which is the output. This window here is the port that you can see inside the position of the gyro. And on here is a gizmo that is uh, used to what to move the uh, gyroscope to be caged and uncaged. It's got a interesting mechanism. I've got the top off of this, but it has a worm drive that you turn, and what it does is it takes this arm, and this arm will spin around and like this, clockwise or counterclockwise, and as it does it, it comes out of the uh, bowl. And what that does is it actually locks the galvo down mechanically so it doesn't get screwed up in shipping or, you know, take off or landing, anything that's, uh, you know, going to hurt the thing or whatever. But anyways, this deal on here is turned manually. There's a knob and it'll spiral around and it's a weird mechanism. It'll actually come out of the bowl and then touch this and lock it down. And so when it's unlocked, this is free to move. This is the gyroscope. You can move this position, this position, this one underwater in Katrina, so I've got this thing all apart. He oiled up, I put coil and stuff on it, PB nut blaster and everything to free it up. Moves around and it's got slip slip wires types ring that transmits out to here to the connector so when the aircraft is moving around this thing is gonna keep aiming north or whatever the same position it was in and uh, when it was first started up throughout the flight so you got up down left right now, if I undo this capacitor I can probably see the date code on there it's got 983, so I'm not sure how old this is. I probably need to undo this and scoot the capacitor over and see if it's, you know, 1959, 49, 69, whatever. I doubt this will ever work again. The, there's a motor inside of this thing that I'm trying to pull out these set of screws around here to pull this out so I can get in there to revolve the rotor around. It's got an interesting ball on here. It's got a lot of this to free up. What you do on something like this, it's one under salt water. You just undo screws, you scrub it with a toothbrush, put oil on it, spray it down, go back and forth again, and you can finally get something free. But this literally was a corroded mess, and I've got a fairly decent looking. Again, that's the flux. This is the transmitter, which means this is the gyro that's in in the uh, aircraft or whatever, and it transmits its position uh, with this connector here over to the uh, receiver end. The window in here, of course, is so you can go through and see that the thing is uncaged and it's moving around like that made by Bendix.